I'm Austina Wharton. Hi, I'm Brian Park, and we are the co-captains for the American Heart Association's Millen's Heart Walk legal team, Legal Pulse. Uh, we are putting together a series of events uh, to benefit the American Heart Association. One of those is um, we're going to be hosting a 2K tournament in the courtyard and playing all the games. Also, we're doing a bracket challenge where Dean Hubbard and Dean Quo have graciously agreed to complete a bracket on camera. We are asking a $5 donation for everyone that completes a bracket with 100% of the proceeds going to research to benefit heart health. And fun prizes. Yeah. They win. I'm delighted to be here today with Dean Quo, who has recently discovered there is a new source called ESPN. So with that kind of expertise at my left arm, uh, usually she's on my right arm telling me what to do and how best to run the law school, and she's really good at that. But we're going to find out how good she is today when it comes to picking the bracket winners. So together, with all of this firepower, I am sure we're going to win the national championship of bracket picking. Yes! All right, here we go. We're going to start with the most important bracket, and that's the women's side of this thing this uh, exercise. And there's no way we're going to disagree that South Carolina is going to win the national championship. They are going to. So. I agree. And you can, Dean Quo, you can put a purple check mark by that. Or can, I, can I, yeah, I'll just put a check to show that I agree with the Dean. I don't right. even know the name of that other team. It's a bunch of big letters. It hasn't been decided yet. It That's could, it could be Presbyterian and we beat them by 60 points earlier. Okay, North Carolina and Michigan State. North Carolina's a good team. Uh, we Carolina. barely beat, well, we beat them earlier in the year, but it was a closer game than um, perhaps some thought. So I'm gonna go with UNC against Michigan State. So that's the Tar Heels versus this, uh, it's like the Marvin Martian. Mm -hmm. guy. The, Spartans. the Spartans. You might as well explain your, your technique and your strategy. Well, I think that a combination of color and mascot will tell me who is going to win. But I actually like the Tar Heels. My brother went there for college, so I'm going to check that one too. All right, so uh, Oklahoma and FGCU. I don't know what FGCU stands for, so I'm going with the Oklahoma Sooners. What's a, is a Sooner a person or a? It's a, a Sooner is, is this uh, canopy driven cart that people went out west. A Sooner was, I think it was the person that drove the. Oh, so it is a person. Yeah, I think, I think it's the person and not the actual cart, the canopy cart that took people, horse-driven cart, out west. It's an early uh, settler. An earlier, an earlier oh, settler. So they're tough. They're tough. What, what, is, what is that? It's Florida Gulf Coast University. Probably a fish or something? Maybe there's some kind of wildcat. Oh, okay. Well, but didn't the wildcats eat the... Okay, I'm going to differ from the Dean. They are an eagle. Oh, I like that. Okay. You've not convinced me that Sooners are tougher than the Eagles. Well, I'm convinced that anybody that can go all the way out west in a covered wagon is tough oh, enough to win a point. basketball game against Florida Gulf Coast. The closer, the, the closer people are to the coast, the more leisure time they enjoy, uh, whereas those in the Midwest work harder and don't go to the beach and waste their time. So. But look how angry this ant, uh, this bird is. I see. We're going to move on now because Indiana and Fairfield are up next. Who is Indiana? I mean, who are the Indian? Oh, the who? What's a Hoosier? It's a resident of Indiana. Oh, okay. I like Indiana. I'm going, I don't know what state Fairfield is in. Okay. So. Again, both of these are good uh, middle America teams, Nebraska and Texas A&M. Um, I've seen Texas A&M play this year. Um, they are lower ranked than Nebraska, but I believe Nebraska may have beaten Ohio State in the Big Ten oh. tournament. So they're very strong. But I got to go to my go with my Southeastern Conference pick there. So I'm gonna go with Texas A&M. What is Texas A&M? Because Nebraska are a bunch of people who husk corn. They're the Huskers, the Corn Huskers. Well, what's Texas A&M? They are the Aggies. Oh! Oh, no, 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 we like them, right? We like them. Okay. 
Oregon State and Eastern Washington, both of these teams or areas enjoy immense, copious amounts of rainfall. Um, Eastern Washington may be a little bit, it's too much of a, a gap between Oregon State, what's left of the Pac-12. I've got to go to Oregon State over Eastern Washington because um, there's just such a gap in uh, uh, someone who slotted at number three and somebody at 14. Oh, that, those numbers are? The higher the number, the lower rank, the higher rank they are, the more proficient they are. Oh. So if you're a 14 seed. Uh, I'm sorry, know, then that's 12 and 5. I'd, I have to go back and change that. No, you I'm can't good. change it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll stick with the Angry Eagles. No, you have um, yeah, you got to go with the Eagles. All right, I'm going to go then with that number thing. It's real helpful. Someone should have said that to me to start with. I would have gone. That would have helped me. All right. I thought good. since you've been studying the ESPN since noon today, you would know. I just found CDs. it in the Google. Okay. Ole Miss and Marquette. Um, Ole Miss, again, just, they play in the very tough Southeastern Conference. Um, they have a lot of competition. Uh, they'll beat Marquette. Well, the Marquettes are Eagles again, though. I kind of do like Eagles. Okay, I'm going to go with Marquette. You know, they're both seated fairly closely, 7 and 10. I like birds, so. Okay, Notre Dame and Kent State, big gap there. Notre okay. Dame, for sure. I agree. Texas and Dre Dre Drexel, Texas being a one seed, got to go with Texas. They just came into the, one of the top four seeds, but they're they're kind of on a roll, so we got to go with Texas. Alabama and Florida State. That's and, tight. That's real tight, but I have to, again, go with the Southeastern Conference. I think they've gotten a little more hardened during the season because of that competition, so Alabama. And that's um, that elephant? And Some. Seminoles? Yeah. Oh, no, I'll go to Alabama. You know, there are a lot of elephants in the state of Alabama, so it's mm -hmm. perfectly appropriate mascot for the University of Alabama. And uh, elephants are smart. Utah and South Dakota State. South Dakota State's actually a good program. Um, yeah, but Utah says number five. Yeah, so I've got to go. That, that's just a big gap there, so I'm going to go with Utah. But I wouldn't be surprised if South Dakota, South Dakota State did give a hard, a good, a good game. What's a Ute? A Ute is the mascot of Utah. <laughs> I don't know what a Ute is. <laughs> <laughs> but South Dakota State is, what is a South Dakota? It's a jackrabbit. Oh, it's a rabbit? That's right. so cute. I'm going to go with that. You might win that one. They're pretty good. That's bold. Don't, don't, they go with a rabbit? That's, that's don't adorable. Don't Staley has taken our team up there to play them to toughen up, so they're, that's a good choice. Gonzaga, USC, Irvine. Um, Got to go with the Zags. They were a sweetheart team years ago because I remember my college team was playing and um, everyone kept saying, sweetheart team, because they were new to the whole um, you know, bracket. So I'm going to go with Gonzaga. Tennessee and Green Bay, this is not hard at all for me. No. Tennessee gave South Carolina their hardest games of the year, except in the tournament when we played LSU. So I'm going to go with Tennessee. I think they're, they're up and coming and um, getting stronger. I'm from right out from Knoxville, so they got to go with Tennessee. Okay, NC State, Chattanooga. NC State has a USC transfer, so you know they have talent. So I'm going to go with NC State against Chattanooga. It says they're the mocks. Is that like Mocha a shoe like, or like, a like snake? Mocha. Snake. Oh, okay. Um, you hmm. always have liked serpents. I, I, I do. My dad is, I think, no, he's a rat, not a snake. Um, but I do like snakes. Is that the Chad? I'm gonna go with Chad. Wait, wait. It's three and fourteen. That's a bad choice, right? I'm gonna go with Chad. Chattanooga. Got to go with home it's Tennessee. Team. Tennessee. Uh, Iowa State. Oh, Maryland. I know that one. Easy. Um, I'm going with Iowa State. Oh. Yeah. I'm. I think they're gonna be enjoying some of the momentum that the men's team has created. Iowa State, I believe, on the men's side is a top four seed. Well, I, I like the um, those turtle things, the terrapins. Maryland's really good. They were preseason the top team, and they faded a little bit. But that you could be right on that one. 
And my, my uncle Stanford. used to teach there. So. There you go. That's really a better reason. <laughs> Uh, Stanford and Norfolk State. Uh, Stanford could be a real threat to win the national championship. Oh. So, Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt about that one. Go on with that one. Okay, this will be on Sunday. Shall we go ahead and finish it on this side? All right, so we're going to go with South Carolina against North Carolina. Oh, yeah. Got to do that. Yes. Indiana has such a great basketball tradition. I think I'm going to go with them over Oklahoma. Were they the Hoosiers? Yes, Indiana. The Hoosiers. the Hoosiers just an Indiana person? That's yeah. right. Oh, gosh, I do like Eagles, but I do feel like the numbers yeah, those send me this tough. way. Remember, they went all the way out west and covered wagons? Well, I didn't go with the Sooners. I went with the Eagles. Sure. You wouldn't let me well, go back yeah, to the so Sooners. You got to pick between Indiana and your Florida Gulf Coast. Um, you know, I think I think truly Indiana is the is the basketball state of the two. I'm gonna stick with uh, Texas A&M again. It's a it's a bias for the Southeastern Conference. Yeah, but this one I just saw as a beaver. Um, but you picked, yeah, you picked Oregon State. So that's, that's I'm going to go with Oregon. Okay. All right. Ole Miss and Notre Dame. Um, I'm going with Notre Dame at this point in the process. Um, I can't remember what the mark is. They've always had a great tradition. They're golden eagles. Oh, I do like eagles. But you're right. Notre Dame is it's Notre Dame. And they're number two. Okay, okay, that would just be foolish of me to go with the eagle. And that's why they're, um, didn't they almost go extinct? So, I'm going there. Texas and Alabama, I mean, there's, Texas is a one seed, and I don't see anything in Alabama that would cause me to think they're gonna pull an upset. I agree, I agree. In my choices between Utah and the Saga, um, slight upset, I'm going with Utah. I've seen them play. They have a center who's extraordinarily good. Very light, very big and very light on the feet. So I'm going with Utah. So Gonzaga has the dogs. And was that the jackrabbit? You, you've got yes. a pick between South Dakota State and Gonzaga. Yeah, so that's a rabbit and that's a dog. Oh gosh, the jackrabbits are fast. I'm gonna go with South Dakota. Stay. Okay. okay. Tennessee. Ooh, I've got Tennessee. State. I've got. I'm still going with Tennessee over NC State. Um, even though NC State is really good, I just remember those two games against South Carolina that Tennessee gave us all we could have. Um, I live closer to Knoxville than Chattanooga, so I'm going to go with Tennessee. Yeah, and Stanford, I think, is probably going to be in, the, could be in the final four. Wouldn't surprise me, so Stanford is. Uh, I like birds, so I'm going to go with birds. Now, we get down to this side, this That part. one's easy. I'm just going to go South Carolina yeah, all the way. Yeah, got to. Got to go all the way. And then uh, between Texas a and and Notre Dame, I'm going, you're at Oregon State, I'm going with Notre Dame. But this is the beaver, right? Thank you. Yeah, you're going with the beavers. Okay. All right. Texas, again, is a one seed. No reason to think they're not going to go pretty far. Uh, that's my rabbit, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll be realistic. I'll be realistic. Okay. And then, uh, Tennessee and Stanford. Tennessee's good, but Stanford's got. I think her name is Brink. She's projected to be the number two draft pick in the WBA. So I still got to go with Holland. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, and then we come in here one more time. Oh, that one's easy. South Carolina. Got it. And uh, here I'm going to go with Stanford. They have played in the Final Four before. Ooh, I'm going to go with Tennessee. Good. All right. Shall we move over to the other side? Caitlin Clark, Iowa at the top. Can't go anywhere else but with her. I'm still wounded from the 
job she did on the Gamecocks in the semifinals last year. What's that school? It doesn't matter because it's Iowa and Caitlin Clark. So. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll go with that. <laughs> West Virginia and Princeton. I'm going to go with uh, with Princeton on this one. They, uh, they're really good in tournaments. They play very heady basketball, lots of backdoor action. Okay, so those are Orange Tigers versus Blue Mountaineers. I think Tigers are going to win. Okay, Drake. Like corn or something? See, Colorado and Drake. Colorado, I think, was preseason. Oh, and for a while, they were number one, I think. They were ranked for a while, so they faded a little bit, but they're going to come back. At least they'll be good enough to beat Drake. So these are Bulldogs, and those are some kind of... Buffalo. Buffaloes. Buffalo. I like Buffalo. Okay. All right, Kansas State and Portland. Mm -hmm. Oh, are those the Rock Chalk people? That's uh, Kansas. You, they call it KU because University of Kansas, but they call it KU. Kansas State Wildcat versus the Pilots. Oh, but this is four and thirteen. All right, I'll stick with any on that one. Okay, Louisville and Middle Tennessee. Mm -hmm. That's a hard one for me. Um, MTSU's in. That's great. I'm gonna go with Louisville. Um, oh, but Louisville has a bird. Cardinal. Yeah. Cardinals. Red Cardinal. And I like them too. I like birds. Okay. I love the Rices. I love Joe and Lisa <laughs> Rice, and I love Rice University against LSU. I really would love to see an upset here. I'm not an LSU fan, but I can't believe that Rice is going to beat them. So, as painful as this is, I'm going. Those are the Bulldogs. Um, rice are the owls. I like birds. May you be right. <laughs> I'll lose. The, I'll be glad to give up my bracket if you're right on that. Creighton and UNLV. I'm going with the higher ranked team there. Blue Jays. Yep, and they're birds. playing the running rebels at UNLV. Birds over people any day. Okay. UCLA and Cal California Baptist. I didn't know there were any Baptists in California. There aren't many. They're not Southern. They're but California. I'm going to go with UCLA. There, um, there was a time when um, there was a time when UCLA, I think, was ranked number two in the country. So they dropped to the two seed. What's a Bruin? It's a bear. Oh, it's a bear. Okay. Um, the Lancer's a person. Yes. Yeah. Bear killed first. USC has this freshman Juju somebody um, who's the, the, one of the top freshmen in the country. So I'm going to go with Southern California. It's known to some as USC, but to me it's Southern California. Is this different from the other Texas A&M? Yeah. That's the Texas A&M and Corpus Christi, I think. They look like they are just lucky to be in there, so I'm going to go for them. Picking a 16 seed against a number one seed. Well, showing, you, you never showing know. a lot of courage. All right, here we go with Kansas and Michigan. Uh, there's a lot of turmoil on the men's side of Michigan. I don't think that affects the women, but I'm still the Kansas is the founding school of college basketball, so I'm going to go with Kansas. That's the chocolate. Yeah, rock chalk. Oh, they're birds. Wait, Jayhawks? Jay I like birds. Yeah. I don't know what. What's the band climb? Oh, they're the plans, so they haven't decided. Oh, between oh. Vanderbilt? Oh. Okay, again, I'm just got a, I have an SEC bias, yeah. so I'm going to go with Vanderbilt. That's my school, I got to go with Vanderbilt. It's Vandy and uh, Columbia. That's all right, that's all right. Okay, Virginia Tech, um, last year I think they were Final Four team, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm going to go with them here. Gotta go with the Thunder and Herd. <laughs> she likes the mascot. All right, Syracuse is going to play the play-in between Auburn and Arizona. I'm just going to stick with Syracuse here. 
on the theory that play-in team's going to be tired. It's kind of confusing because they're all the same color because I just looked up and Auburn is the orange. No, wait, that's Syracuse. What is Auburn? They're orange too. Or tigers. Oh, I do like tigers. Okay, I'll go with Auburn. I'm not going to write Arizona because I want it to be Auburn. Connecticut. It's hard to believe Connecticut is a 3C perennial powerhouse. I think they're going to make a little run at it. So, Gino is probably going to make a little run at it this year. Yeah, this is where our friend Ebony is, so that's where we're gonna go and, for you, Todd. Uh, Duke over Richmond. Oh, yes, yes. No doubt about that one. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And then Ohio State. They over had the Maine. Buckeyes. So here we go. Bears over Buckeyes. We got to go with Iowa. I think Iowa's gonna be in the final four, so I'm gonna stick with Iowa. Okay, and then. I advise you to pick Iowa. Okay. <laughs> They're good. And then Colorado, again, we know they have the talent because. Uh, They're close. Yeah. Buffaloes versus the Wildcats. Oh, thank you. I like Buffaloes. Okay. I'll go with that. Okay. Louisville over LSU. Hmm. Owls versus Cardinals. Uh, bird on bird. As painful as this is, I still have to go with the LSU. Yeah. You know what? I just pull for the Rices. I'll balance this out so that we're you on can both sides. have all my money, if, uh, <laughs> or all the money I'm willing to bet on this, <laughs> if you could pull that off. Be broke. Creighton and UCLA. Uh, UCLA again is uh, the Bears. The Bears, the Bruins. What was Creighton again? They're a bird as well. A bird? Oh, that's easy. Hey. And, you know, given how Southern California has come up and sort of peaking at this time of year, I've got to go with them this far. I go with, well, okay, you. You okay. like rock chalk. I do well, rock chalk. So, um, I don't know what it means, but I think it's fun. I'm going to go with that. That wouldn't be a bad pick. Um, Andy and Marshall and Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech, again, a Final Four team from last year. They brought a lot of players back. I think they're going to make a little run. I, I got to go for Andy. And Syracuse, Connecticut. Okay, Connecticut again. They've, they've been there, done that. Gino Arioma. I agree. Okay. Go. Duke and Ohio State. This is where I think Ohio State strength comes through. No. Yeah. Duke. Okay. Now, here we get down to Iowa and Colorado. Iowa again is going to be in the final four. That's the one you recommended for me. Okay. All right. This is where it gets good. Wait, can you bring it? Iowa's also over. I'm going to go here. Oh, okay. With, that makes uh, sense. UCLA to, to, to beat uh, LSU. So these are Blue Jays versus Owls. That's a tough one there. I think Owls are predatory. So there. Kansas, I've got Southern California, you've got Kansas against Vandy. I'm going with uh, SCAL. I gotta go with Chalk. Okay. Chalk. Okay, and then okay. Connecticut, I think Connecticut's still on the run. Oh, I'm gonna, oh wait, what happened to my Duke? Why would you choose that one? I chose Connecticut because they're always a perennial power. Yeah, but that's my school. And then you go with you. Okay. There you go. All right, so here we get down to who makes it to the final four. Got to go with Iowa. What kind of bird is that? Hawkeye. Oh, hawks versus owls. Okay, I agree. At this point, I'm sorry. Owls. Rice. Okay, and then Southern California and Connecticut. The Gamecocks beat Connecticut soundly. 
They did have injuries. I, yeah, they did. I, I think I'm going to go with the experience of Connecticut because Southern Cal's best players are freshmen. This is probably my Achilles heel, but um, I'm going to go with Duke. Okay. Then, South Carolina against, uh, I've got Stanford, you've got Tennessee, so I'm going with. That's South the right Carolina. one. That is right. But you had Tennessee play in South Carolina. You're going to finally go with South Carolina. Well, because I, I, I'm from here, but this is where I am now, and I love this team too. And your paycheck comes from there. Yes, that is correct. Good <laughs> and, choice. And my, my payer of that paycheck also went here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Iowa playing Connecticut. I can go to Iowa because I'm hoping that there'll be a chance for the Gamecocks to redeem themselves against Iowa after last year's loss in the semifinals. I think it's going to be close between Iowa and Duke. I do feel like Iowa's going to have to win here. And then we know yes. that South yes. Carolina is going to win the national championship. It's all a farce because it was going to always end up in South Carolina. Does there you have it. The winning bracket. We hope all of you will participate in this bracket challenge for a great cause, the Heart Walk. And we thank Austina and Brian for their leadership. And we really hope we have great participation in the law school community. Hear, hear. Thank you for your engagement with this worthy cause.